This video is about the trace element, the trace mineral, selenium, uh, also called selenium, depending on what pr pronunciation you're referencing. This is Robert Galera from Healthy Kidney Inc. I want to talk about this very, very important mineral that people with kidney disease have a very, very high rate of deficiency. So this mineral is needed for so many functions in the body. One of them is your immune system. Your immune system won't function properly if you don't have enough of this mineral, selenium. You also need it for your proper thyroid to function, all the thyroid hormones. Uh, it helps prevent heart, heart disease, cardio, you need it for cardiovascular health. It also helps uh, prevent viral infections. It helps fight viral infections. And a big thing is it keeps your antioxidant defense systems up. So it sounds like a very important thing, antioxidant defense systems. And it is, because this is the way your body protects itself against cell damage, against viruses, bacteria, is that it uses these antioxidants that it produces to, to combat these things and to fix and repair your cells. And so we find in kidney disease that the antioxidant defense system is, is low. Okay, because you're dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of things going on. You have kidney disease and your body's not functioning properly and the kidneys aren't functioning properly. So selenium is shown to help improve all those markers. And I'm referencing a study here. It was a nice article that referenced a lot of different studies about this mineral. It was in the March 2011 Renal and Neur Urology News. And they show that selenium deficiency was up to 98% in people with kidney disease, specifically in hemodialysis. There's other studies with kidney disease uh, too that don't show as high, but there's a very high rate of deficiency. And you can improve that deficiency through taking pills, which they noted. Okay, so they do sell selenium pills, okay? And, and with kidney disease, everyone's really recommended to take a multivitamin. And that multivitamin should have the selenium in it. If not, you can get a separate pill if you don't wanna take a multivitamin. And there was a good study in hemodialysis patients that taking one Brazil nut a day actually raise their selenium levels out of the deficiency into a normal state. Uh, over time, that was. And that's, that's interesting because one Brazil nut a day isn't, isn't enough to really uh, fetch your phosphorus, potassium, any of these other markers. And um, Brazil nut has a lot of selenium in it, depending on what the source is, because selenium comes from soil and uh, the plants, they use the soil to grow, so they take the selenium from there and then you eat the food. And that's how you get it. So it all depends on what the source is, but it could have up to two to 300 per day of your recommended amount. But don't worry about going toxic on that because you don't, you don't go toxic on, on the selenium from food. Uh, that's, that's just a myth. You don't turn on the news and hear these cautions, okay? Because you don't absorb that full amount that you're taking in. You have absorption and a lot of other factors to determine. So I would recommend one to two Brazil nuts if you were trying that, and you can fit that in any kidney diet or the supplements. Uh, you could ask to get tested uh, with blood work, but it's really hard to do depending on your doctor. It's probably something you're going to have to pay out of pocket for. So important, something to be aware of, be mindful of. Like, subscribe to our channel, check out our website. We've got a lot of videos, articles about how to improve kidney health from a kidney disease sufferer. Thanks for watching, everyone. Robert Galarowitz. Bye.